Hi YouTube, it is me, your boy, Britney Spears III, and in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is giving this wig a good old makeover. Cause it needs it. It needs it real bad. This wig has had its glory days. I've worn it in lots and lots of pictures. I've done lots of things with it. But now, I've kind of just left it in my wardrobe to be neglected to its sad fate. What I do is I store all my wigs on one shelf, and I don't really, like, I'm, I'm not the type to be very, very organized, so I don't really keep them in bags or anything like that. I don't keep them separate well enough so pretty much like when I'm trying to grab a wig to do a look with or whatever or I'm trying to you know do something they kind of all slip on onto the ground so I have to kind of push back the, the, the landslide of wigs that comes flooding out and uh, over time this has had many many hours on the floor because I am also very bad at keeping up with keeping tidy and you know this wig has been on the ground it's been under my bed because i kind of just sweeped it under there because i couldn't be asked doing anything with it <laughs> so it kind of just looks like this now it isn't great this is one of those things letting things get so bad and you don't really know how to fix them so like i'm gonna do my best to fix this but i can't guarantee that i will be able to fix this mess probably will be because like otherwise i wouldn't be uploading this video anywho let's just get started all right so first off i i have this clip thing in the back that i have been keeping there for a very long time now to keep this braid and like some of the top section because it was kind of like a half up half down before this mess happened it, it was cute it was pretty pretty cute had like a little fringe thing going on i don't we'll probably find that when we straighten it as of now i can't seem to find the fringe bit so that, that'll be a lovely surprise waiting for us when we finally straighten this and we get you know why am i saying we it's me doing this i am doing this by myself alone in my bedroom Oof! I'm trying to get this braid thing out. It's not really cooperating very well. I just look like some middle-aged mom named Ingrid. <laughs> Why Ingrid? Why Ingrid, you might be asking? I don't know. Well, actually, that's a lie. I do know. Let's just- by the way, let's just start brushing it while it's all- Ooh. Oh, God. There was this one school teacher that I had when I was, I think, six years old. And her name was Ingrid, and she was- she, she wasn't very nice. Um, She'd always yell at everyone and sometimes like she'd bring her children to school and they would act holier than thou and Pretend that they were better than us and they'd tell us to all shut up because they wanted silence in the classroom And whenever she left for a bit to like get coffee or whatever they would be so mean like holy hell they were mean I would basically just make fun of everyone tell everyone to shut up so they could have quiet by the way mind you these are like 10 year olds yelling at six year old children so it wasn't great anyway her name was ingrid and her hair looked exactly like this oh yeah i forgot this brush did that <laughs> I have another paddle brush somewhere. I just don't know where I put it. You might be thinking, oh, you probably have like a hundred tangle teasers laying around. And I do. I am that person that does indeed have a hundred tangle teasers laying around. That's not an exaggeration. I have a hundred tangle teasers. No, that is an exaggeration. I have maybe ten tangle teasers, which is still too many tangle teasers. But I, I just like using paddle brushes. Oh, there it is. That was that little fringe. Found it. Oh, wow. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oof, yikes. <sighs> I can't be asked of this. I'm gonna use a tangle teaser now because that one won't fall apart on me, unlike my life. Haha, <laughs> funny and relatable, haha, <laughs> quirky teen. Wait, no, I'm not a teen anymore. I'm 20 now. Ew! I <laughs> can't say that I'm a relatable teenager anymore. Am I a relatable adult now? No, actually, I kind of like that better. Why did I? start out with a paddle brush. Who knows? Do you know? Tell me in the comments below. Who am I? Am I Dora the Explorer? You know what's really dumb? Last time I tried to style this wig, I had the bright idea to get a fabric marker and I, I really like the hairline on this wig and I really like the lace on this wig. So I decided, huh, what if I can make it a different color? So I decided to take a black fabric marker and try to color this hair. It didn't work. <laughs> Looks really bad. And uh, doesn't feel great. Right, so now that I look like a ginger Billy Ray Cyrus, I'm gonna turn on my straighteners, get ready for the paps and the taps. 
point. Right. So I'm just gonna be starting at the bottom and working my way up. People seem to get really upset when I straighten my wigs <laughs> with just the straightening iron. And um, people seem to think that you can just do this to any wig. No, no, no. That's not true. Let me just help you get that misconception out of this world. You can only use heat on heat resistant synthetic wigs. I know, shocking, it's in the name. Who would have thunk it? All the wigs that I use are heat resistant synthetic wigs. Right, also, someone please explain this to me because I don't get it. It's a very first world problem, but I bought a bag of tea lights. You know how you buy bags of tea lights? Uh -huh. I got this one. Where the hell is the wick? Where is it? L let me just Michelle fawn my way into focus. Y do you do you see a wick anywhere in here? I don't see a wick. I see a wig no. Haha, uh -huh. okay, no. <laughs> So bad. Again, very first world problem. And really, if that's the biggest of my concerns at the moment, I'm doing pretty good. But like, that's deeply upsetting to me. I, I am deeply upset. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna see one of my best friends tomorrow. I haven't seen her in quite a while. She's been on holiday and stuff. So I'm quite excited to see her again. But she's one of the coolest people that I know. She works in a silicone boob factory. Who do you know that works in a silicone boob factory? Name me, name me a person. So I'm gonna go full Meredith from the office and straighten this side as well, obviously, because I can't just leave it like this, because that's kind of weird. By the way, I just wanted to say a quick little thank you to everyone that has subscribed and been watching my videos. It's really insane to me that people actually enjoy my personality, because I've always been kind of like big ol' outcast with both my personality and like the stuff that I do and that I enjoy. The things that I enjoy talking about, my sense of humor hasn't always been very appreciated by people. So pretty much like, it's very appreciated that now more than 160,000 people are watching my videos. Like that's insane. That's so many of you. Like, first of all, thank you. But honestly, what the hell? <laughs> thank you for sticking around with my inconsistent uploading schedule, with my dumb ramblings that I do in every video about literally nothing. I'm the stuff that I talk about and enjoy my humor and appreciating my editing and all that stuff. I just feel, I guess, appreciated. I know that I'm still an absolute nobody, but like, I, I just feel appreciated and like, thank you so much. My dudes and broskies, my scalp is sweating. It is sweating. Let me tell you. Oh yeah, I definitely look like Meredith from the off. Uh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. Anyway, let's not get too sidetracked. You know what I hate about wigs in general? They always pull back my eyebrows, like the sides of my eyebrows like this, and I always have to pull my forehead back onto my face. But anywho, uh, what I think I'm gonna be doing is braiding the fronts of this wig back. I've done a similar sort of hairstyle to what I'm gonna be doing now. On this wig before, and I don't want to do it again because that was a really good hairstyle. So I'm just gonna be doing a Dutch braid back down the side of this wig. And then just braiding this down towards the end of the hair. I like that. I like that a lot. Love it so much. Just like that. Ooh, I like that. Anyway, I'm gonna be taking one of these. I got see through hair elastics. Look at that. It's. You can't really see that it's see-through on camera, but it's it's transparent. Oh, bitch! Look at it. Oh. Now, obviously, I'm gonna do exactly the same on this side. In case you weren't sure what I was gonna do with this side yet, it's the same. And I've noticed that on Instagram that lately, mostly on Instagram, but also on Twitter, I have been following people that I think are really cool, but I don't understand the word they're saying. And like, uh, ooh. Oh yes, this is turning out exactly how I want it to turn out. It's great. I love it, love it so much, love it so much. Then I figure what I might just do is instead of leaving this straight, doing my toilet paper roll hair curls in the bottom section of this and then integrating some rings into the braids. You know what I mean? It'd be nice. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking my straighteners, going over a strand of hair to heat it up real nice and good. And I'm putting a toilet paper roll in it. 
It's incredible. Every time I do this, it looks so dumb. But like the results are really good. I really like the wavy, bouncy, curl things that come out of it. So like I'm gonna just keep doing that. I know I could just buy curlers that have this size. But I can't be asked. You're welcome! So like I'm gonna just be doing this to all of this hair that's down at the bottom right now. Gotta look like a ginger knockoff Marie Antoinette. Yay, my new brand. Anyway, I'm just gonna do this to all of my hair and I'll be right back. Right, so uh, let's take these out. See what this bad boy looks like without the bad weird curlers. Oh, look at the how fiends. Oh, stop. Actually, that other angle has a way better light. Damn it! But my candles. Look at the, look at the tea lights. Look at look at those. You can't see those. Look at those tea lights. Look at the candles. How nice. But whatever, let's just... It's about the wig, not about the candles. It's about the wig, not about the candles. I need to calm down and switch the angle. Why is it so dark and gloomy outside? I don't know. It's probably because it's November. That's why I do know. Ah! Ah! I just dropped everything! All that, all that fuss, and all I wanted to do is put in some hair rings. So I'm gonna do that now. These are from Regal Rose, not sponsored. Hashtag I wish I was sponsored by Regal Rose. Hashtag please sponsor me, Regal Rose. So in case you're wondering where I get these hair rings from, it's there. And I'm just gonna put these throughout the braids. I'm sure many of you will say that I look like an elf once again because that's not an uncommon criticism that I get. It's not really a criticism, it's just a comparison. People like to compare people to things and other people. But no, bitch, I have my own identity. Anywho, this is the wig. What do you think? Insert simply no logical montage, what do you think meme here. Actually, that's a lot of work, I don't want to do that. Um, anyway, um, here's the back, here's the front, here's, here's, here's all the sides. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And like, um, thank you so much for watching, and if you, if you haven't already, I see you 69.2% of people that were watching but weren't subscribed. I, I know you want to join the family. Come join the family. Subscribe. What do you think of this wig case? Oh, you don't like it? You don't like, oh, oh, that's so sad. So sad, can we get two likes? Bye.